Good morning, members of the media, and welcome to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Weekly Media Brief. I am Michael Pierre, Acting Assistant Superintendent and the Public Information Officer for the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Today we are going to focus on larceny of motor vehicles and robberies involving vehicles. So with me today I have Sergeant Swamba of the uh, Stolen Vehicles Unit of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service and he will speak to these matters. Sergeant Swamba. Thank you. The theft of robbery or robbery of vehicles in Trinidad and Tobago is a multi-million dollar illegal industry. Often vehicles are stolen for resale or to use in the commission of a crime. One of the largest investment an individual will make in his or her lifetime is the purchase of a motor vehicle. As such, we must take every precaution to ensure that what we buy is what we get. There is the old adage, buyers beware. There are simple precautionary measures that can be adopted that we can adopt in purchasing a vehicle. They are as follows. Use the certified copy to ensure that the owner registration number, chassis, and engine number correspond. It is wise that the purchaser conduct a mortgage search on the vehicle at the Registrar General Department. When paying for vehicles, use a certified manager's check. IJ is a receipt by itself, and if the need arises, gives the police a paper trail to follow. Never walk with cash to pay for a vehicle as you can become the victim of a robbery. When allowing person to test drive your vehicle, make sure that you are aware and satisfied of the identity of the person. Do not allow the person to test drive your vehicle without you or your representative in the vehicle, and they are qualified to drive. Payment should be made by manager's check. As far as practical, proceed immediately to the licensing division and transfer the ownership of the said vehicle. There is a statutory period in law of seven days to have this done. To avoid your vehicle being stolen, you should, and I think you must, always be aware of your surroundings and the people around you. Avoid isolated areas in parking lots. Park your vehicles in wet lit areas, and if possible, in areas where the CCTV cameras I uh, provided. When entering or leaving your home, residential driveways and gates, shopping malls, business places, fast food outlets, check the surrounding for strange persons loitering in the vicinity. If unusual activity is observed, make a block and return. If you are still suspicious, call the police. At night, be cautious when approaching traffic lights. Carjackings have often occurred at traffic lights where vehicles are struck from behind, and when the driver comes out, he or she is taken away, a vehicle is taken away. Always leave sufficient space from the vehicle in front of you so that in the case of an emergency, you can easily get out of harm's way. Install anti-theft devices such as steering locks. I always speak about the one that goes across the steering, your gas lock, pedal locks, preferably with a vehicle tracking device, for example, the GPS, which is a global positioning system, which in modern day times, we can track your vehicle when it is stolen. Place marks of identification that you alone would know in hidden areas of your vehicle. In the event that your vehicle is stolen and any identifiable part is recovered, the person found in possession 
of the part would have to satisfactorily account for the uh, being in possession of that part. Also, it is an easy method for you, the victim, to identify it. Persons should be aware that no anti-theft device placed on any vehicle can is guaranteed. For the year, for the year 20, 2016, we have seen that the number one vehicle was the Nida, Nissan Tida, which we, we know locally as the wet man. The second largest number of vehicle is the B13. The third would be the B14, and the fifth being the AD wagon. We have also noticed uh, the, the Elantras, some of the Elantras, uh, the Kia, 2700 and the H100 on the motor vehicles. We are asking people to be very vigilant with respect to their parking of their vehicle. The reason being is that every crime that we notice committed, every crime that has to be committed, a motor vehicle is used. And if we continue to be vigilant as a nation, vigilant in our community, Vigilant about our surrounding, and, and by extension, the entire neighborhood, we will, I am certain, can combat that type of crime. We can avoid such crime being committed and being victims of such crime because we do not know who will be the next victim of such a crime. 